Hard Hog Support is going on tour and I am so excited. We reached out to you guys to see if any of you are having dietary issues with your horses. We were completely overwhelmed by the amount of people that replied to us. Uh, so March is here, she's gonna be helping me. She's part of the Hard Hog team and we're gonna be reaching out to some of you guys to make sure you get the help you need. Here she is coming and she's in a Hi. huge yellow van. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh my God, look at you, you've got the gear. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, I'm super excited. It's nice to meet you. We've we've known of each other for a while, but it's the first time we're actually meeting. Yes, yeah, really um, nice to meet you. Yeah. So, what's your role exactly in inside of Hartog? What what do you do? I work on the research and development department at Hartog. So I work on uh, producing new feeds, but I also give a lot of feeding advices to horse owners. Oh, okay, perfect. So I'm in the right hands. Yes, definitely. <laughs> uh, because today we're visiting uh, someone, but I, I don't know too much yet. So can you give me a bit of a picture of what, yes. what's ahead? So we're going today to Sandport, to Kiki. Okay. And she has a PRE horse, which is so No way! Yes! Oh my god, that's so cool. I have PRE horses as well, so this is just this has just become extra special for me. And she doesn't know we're coming. No? No, so it's a big Wait, surprise. so she has no idea at all that we're on the way? No, no at all. Oh my god, so it's a surprise! Yes, it's a big surprise! We surprise her with hot hog support. I'm trying to think of what to say first. Oh yeah, I don't know. Shh, we're following her, Ryan. Yes. I'm so nervous. I don't know why I'm so nervous. <laughs> oh, that's, this is the instructor, I think. Oh, hi, nice. Is it off? He's off now. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was like, and we've ruined it. <laughs> oh, she's right there. She's right there already. Oh, yeah. Wow, what a pretty PRE. I wonder who owns this horse. <laughs> oh my god, is this Matt? Surprise! <laughs> my name is uh, Kiki Kuna, I'm 25 years old and I live in Sandport North. Nice to meet you Kiki, I'm Matt. So we're here with Hard Hog Support. Uh, we heard you've been having a little bit of uh, trouble. This is Marcia, she's part of the team. Hi! Uh, so we came to see if we could be of help to you with your horse. So why did you feel the need to, to enter for hard hog support? What, what made you do that? Um, so I just have him since May. May. Yeah. yeah. May, I think. And um, they don't have the um, uh, food we have here. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I, I also have horses from Spain, so I totally know what you mean. They come from a to different hay, no grass. Yeah. And he's still uh, growing, of course. But his belly is also growing. Yeah. I, I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, I understand. I'd love to, I mean, aside from all this, I'd love to see him a little bit in action. Like maybe if you're like trotting around or giving him a canter. I don't know if he's warmed up, but I'd love yeah. to take a look. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yes, we'll awesome. Thank you. The trot looks really nice. <laughs> Kiki, would you mind coming in? He looks really nice. Okay, Kiki, I think it's good if we uh, take him back to the stable, we take the saddle off, have a good look and understand your needs and wants a little bit better. And then uh, Marcia will be able to help you. Okay, yes. Kiki, I'm curious, what do you feed your horse at this moment? Um, so we give him a hard dog digest two times a day in the morning and uh, when he's uh, get off from the field and we give him pellets. And do you have an indication about how much kilogram hay he gets a day? No, <laughs> no I have no idea. It's okay, when they asked me that question I also didn't know. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people don't. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people don't, so it's normal. Okay Kiki, I'm going to have a quick look at your horse to see a little bit more about the condition. Uh, is he okay if I touch him everywhere? Yes, I, yeah? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> he seems sweet enough, so... So, uh, you've had a feel, much in the meantime, and where do you think this horse is at? I think your horse is adjusting really well to his new life. He does have a little too much fat right now, especially 
in this area, but it's quite a normal area for horses to have fat. Mm -hmm. You see this uh, type of fat only um, decreasing if your horse is really, really, really losing a lot of weight, which is not necessary for your horse. Because your horse is also young and it's growing, so it needs a lot of nutrients to be able to grow, of course. Mm -hmm. So you're right that he's a bit on the thicker side at the moment, um, but it's especially important to support him in his growth and in his adjustment from where he came from to now. So I think we have a solution for your horse to support him optimally, but the solution is not within a day. No, of course I understand. That. It never is with horses, <laughs> yeah. I've come back to the Hartog truck because I've made a little plan for Kiki. Kiki's horse now receives half of a feeding scoop of pellets per day. However, this is not able to cover the daily requirements of nutrients a horse has next to roughage. And therefore I've brought the Hartog Comfort. This is Hartog's newest product and therefore does not have the original packaging yet. Um, a kilogram of this product per day covers the horse with all essential nutrients. If you find yourself in a similar situation as Kiki and you want your horse to lose some weight, it's still very important to make sure your horse receives enough roughage per day. Roughage is essential for the mental and physical health of your horse. Okay Kiki, you're in great hands with Marcia. I'm going to be really curious to see the progress of your horse in a couple of months once he's been on this uh, regimen and he's on the diet as well. Um, and then we're going to see where he's at. Okay, as <laughs> I'll keep you posted. <laughs> so as you guys can see, things have drastically changed here in the Netherlands. It's sunny, spring has come, the grass has grown, the horses are out in the field, and Kiki has really been implementing the changes that March has suggested. Uh, she's been vlogging that whole experience for us. I know March is already anxiously waiting to go see that footage, so let's catch up with her and take a look. I've got her video here, so uh, let's have a look. Yeah, I'm really excited. So today I want to give you guys an update on what's been going on, how Alyssa is doing, and um, what I noticed the past few weeks while changing his diet. And, what a movie uh, star. Yeah, she's owning it. And uh, now we slowly replace the pellets for Hartog Comfort, and uh, we still give him one feeding scoop uh, of Hartog Digest a day and he gets uh, one kilogram of Hartog uh, Comfort a day. <laughs> How cute he is. We noticed that he likes the Hartog uh, Comfort more than the Digest. When I put the Digest on top, he's always searching for the Hartog Comfort. So, oh, okay. He's also a really fast eater. So when I gave him uh, the pellets, they were gone in a second, I think. But now it's taking him much longer for uh, him to eat it all which is a good thing because he won't get bored that easily. Good sign, yeah. you want them to like it. In the training, he's getting a lot stronger. We noticed that he develops more power at the hind leg and he's getting um, more balanced than before. He also looks very good and he has a shiny coat and he's doing great. And we are very happy with the food from Hartog. So after his morning breakfast, I'm going to bring him to the field and he's gonna stay there for a couple of hours. Um, now the grass is finally growing so he can stay a little bit longer on the field. We also give him hay around 12 o'clock on the field because um, the grass is growing but it's not enough yet and uh, he gets bored pretty easily so I think this is a good solution. He's eating it right now. Lisa always had a hard time uh, keeping his patience while brushing him, but there is a real difference now. He's yeah, actually standing still while my friend is doing his mane. He's almost sleeping. <laughs> I like it. Wow, a success! A really success! Yeah! I'm really, really, really happy to hear. So I'm really impressed by how much they've been able to do in the last couple of months. And because they still have a couple of weeks before we go to visit, which I'm really excited about, I think we're going to be seeing even more progress. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to be heading back. Yeah, me too! <laughs> Ah, we're back! 
let's have a look. She's probably around the corner. There she is. Wow, there he is. Hello. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Good. Wow, Hi, he Esther. looks great. Hey. hey. How is he doing? He's doing really, yeah, good. He's eating good. He's uh, feeling good, I think. <laughs> He's happy, so. So how have you found switching feed? Did it affect his energy levels? Was it positive? Was it negative? How, how was it for you? I think uh, it was positive. He has uh, a lot of energy when I'm riding, but not too much. Maybe it's good if you already get your hands on and start yeah, to have a bit of a feel like. of the body. And then we can talk a little bit about, a bit about your experience as well. Yeah. 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 I'm going to I'm curious if in. they match up. Hey, I'm curious if what you feel, Marcia, matches up to what Kiki has been feeling herself. Yeah, because well. last time I also checked his body. So I think it's really nice to see if we can see a difference, of course. Yeah. Well, especially for now, his shoulders are really a difference because last time he had quite a, a bit of a fat tissue here, which is normal for horses because it's a place where they store a lot of fat, but now it's considerably less, so that's really nice to see. If we look at the girth of the horse, so from the bottom to the top, it's really big, yeah. but this is, this is like bone, right? So we can't actually change this size. No. But as the um, abdominals of the horse get stronger, it will kind of tighten everything. And as the bum gets bigger, it will fill in this side. So you'll see less of this, this bit that you also were talking about last yeah. time. Yeah. And it's gonna become more one horse. But that's also time. So I think it's, it's about striking the balance with feed and allowing your horse enough time to grow up. Well, I want to thank you very much, Kiki, for allowing us to come in and give you that extra little bit of support and hopefully some guidance when it comes to the diet of your horse. Um, I know both for myself and for March, it's been a real pleasure. Definitely. And it's always nice to see that you're on the right track. Definitely. Yeah. And thank you so much. Yes, thank you. <laughs> well, this was a success. I think it was a huge success. And I think we've covered two really big things. We were able to support Kiki. We came here, she had a specific issue. We were able to kind of analyze it, give her the tools and knowledge she needed. And secondly, I think this is a really common issue, don't you think? Definitely. I think Kiki, her problems are very common. So if you're facing similar problems, I hope you have learned something from this video. But if you want specific advice, feel free to contact Hartog or Hartog Support, of course. And the exciting thing is, is that we actually do have a few other episodes coming out covering different issues. So if you feel like this didn't exactly hit on maybe something that you were struggling with, do stay tuned for the next episodes because we're going to be covering a variety of other topics. Yeah. And we're going to be giving you all the tools, tips and tricks on how to solve them. I think that's it. I thank think you so all too. so much for watching and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye bye. Bye, thank you.